So today we playing Ecosses by Schubert. And uh, yeah, please follow my instructions. Play at first D major scale. Uh, use the whole bow, yeah? So just stop this video and play D major scale right now, yeah? So, and arpeggios. And then we will, um, we will uh, practice Ecosses. So you played the major scale, you played arpeggios, and now we will use the skills in Ecosses. You're starting from the second finger. So on D and A string, Re and La, we're playing high second finger, and on E string, we have a low second finger. Let's start. Put the bow in the middle and use only the upper part of the bow, okay? So, one, two, three, four. Keep the frame. Uh, please be sure you hold your hand in the frame like this. Don't glue the fingers to them uh, together, okay? So, and uh, the second thing what I, I want to talk about, maybe you cannot see my elbow very good, but when I am uh, I'm changing the strings, I am using elbow, yes? Yeah? So don't, don't forget about it. Let's do it again. One, two, three, four. second part of a cassess. You have to keep the finger fa la 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 fa la la la. So you play. Look at this. I change the string, but the first finger staying and not covering the A string. Look at this. And then yeah, I have very big fingers and I don't think you will have troubles with it. Yeah, so please uh, start. One and two and yeah, try low finger, take off first, keep, keep, if you can play good already and you don't have any problems with uh, keeping the fingers on the string, you can try to make vibrato on every note, yeah? So, first finger, third, but keep them together, okay? So, this vibrato is also possible when we have two fingers on the string. So, uh, I think that's it. Uh, when you're playing legato, please, please use the whole bow. If you're playing only one note, a bow, please use only upper part, like this. And the got to and so on. Yeah, so th thank you very much. Have a nice practicing.